welcome to Questions with Sir. One of my students asked me, Sir, why did Roman men wear skirts? Actually, they didn't wear skirts. They wore something called tunica, which is translated to English, a tunic. A tunic was very practical thing to wear and easy to make. I'll show you with uh, my friend Arboreus, the virtual Roman. Let's imagine that this is a piece of white cloth. We just fold it in half and then make a hole at the top, like this. And we can put it on top of our Arboreus. We just saw these two ends together and Arboreus has his new tunic. The tunic was very practical because they could move freely their arms and their legs and it was made really fast. Roman speaker Tacitus said about Germanic tribes when they first met them. These savages do weird things. They bathe in the river, they wear ponytails and worst of all they wear trousers. And also, Roman speaker Cicero said, defending the Gallic chief, they are not aggressive just because they are wearing trousers. So, Romans really looked down upon people who wore trousers. They thought that wearing a tunic is a symbol of civilization. Roman soldiers uh, wore long woolen cloaks to cover their legs and also woolen socks. We know that by a discovery from Windelanda, which is in the north of England. One soldier asked his mum to send him some woolen socks and his mum sent him socks and other things, writing in a message, Ram tibi paria udonum absatua solearum duo et subligariorum duo which loosely translated means I'm sending you two pair of woolen socks from Satwa, two pair of sandals and long underwear, two pieces. Roman men also wore overgarment which was made out of long piece of cloth which was called toga virilis and the emperor and the senators wore the special toga made out of purple cloth, with, which was called toga pictis. In the middle of 5th century, barbarians came and conquered Rome, namely Visigoths. And of course, they went and marched into Rome in their trousers. Romans actually looked more kindly to these invaders, at least to their fashion, so they started wearing trousers. And at the end of the 5th century and beginning of the 6th century, even the Roman Emperor was wearing trousers. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and keep them coming. See you in the next question. Bye!